toothpaste one. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everyone. This is Julia, and I just wanted to come to you real quick. I have a few short days until I'm actually headed south to Georgia, and I wanted to do a quick updated gear video because I thought in November when I did my first video that I was totally prepared. I was so ready. No. <laughs> no. She, she wasn't ready. She wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. After doing a tons and tons of research and scouring over different companies, looking over different things, I have basically changed almost all of my gear out over the last two and a half months. I just want to share with you what I have, what I've updated. That way you guys will know what I'm carrying with me when I start the AT in just literally a couple of days. Not to mention I'm already freaking out about being under the seven day mark. And by the time most of you see this, I will already be on ground in Georgia walking north. So. Wish me luck, but for now, let's hop into the video and I'll go over everything. I'll let you know what I've updated. So we'll start with my big three. Pretty simple, we'll start with my pack. I upgraded to the Gossamer Gear Mariposa 60. I bought a carpentry bag uh, from Gossamer Gear that fits perfectly in here. You'll also see that I've added some elastic straps to my bag so that way I can hang little bits and goodies off of there as I need. I also purchased this little fanny pack that attaches um, to your waist belt so that way I can put little snacks and little things in there that I will think will be necessary for the day So, so this is my pack. I also have on here just a couple hygiene items. I have a um, Urine rag and the deuce from the tent lab next we can talk about my shelter I upgraded to the gossamer gear the one tent this thing is so much lighter and it really cut my shelter weight down I'm really kind of getting into gossamer gear and researching them the Gossamer Gear, the one tent, requires trekking pools or tent pools in order to erect the tent. So these are, I guess I'll throw them in with my big three. They are the Black Diamond trekking pools and they work really well. I've used these. They've got some miles on them. So they will be going with my shelter, but also I'll be using those day to day. The next part of my big three is my sleep system, which is very important because I love to sleep. Sleep is very important to me. And I was stuck between, do I want a sleeping bag or do I want a quilt? I could not decide because in the winter, mentally, I know that having a sleeping bag doesn't necessarily equate warmth. But in my mind, I wanted to be snug like a little bug in a rug. So I decided that I would get something that I could have as a sleeping bag when it's cold and a quilt when it warms up. Q and lightened equipment and their convert. This is a sleeping bag and quilt all in one. And this thing is super freaking light, but oh my gosh, is it toasty. This is the Convert 20 degree and uh, it is amazing. I cannot wait to see how this thing holds up on trail. Also, I have it in my z Packs dry bag. And that also, I realized that my dry sacks from Sea to Summit were also pretty heavy. So I've also changed a lot of my dry sacks and storage bags to other lighter things. I still stuck with a Thermarest Neo Air women's inflatable sleeping pad. And then I also have a Madeira Outdoor Co sleeping inflatable pillow. Like I said, sleeping comfort, there's really, you're already sacrificing a lot with the way you sleep. And I think a pillow would be really important for me to be comfortable. So I will be taking this. So this is my big three. Let's move on to some other things. Let's talk about clothing. I'm going to talk about what I will be wearing daily and then also my other pieces of clothing that I might need, such as a puffy or rain gear. What I will be wearing to start is my Ultra Running Lone Peak 3.5s. I've worn these in. These are really great. I really like them. I've hiked in them. I've ran in them. I've trail ran in them. And I really like these. So I will be starting the trail with these. As far as what I'll be wearing, I have a nice supportive Manduka sports bra that I will be wearing every day. It is the only one that I have. And I have two pairs of the Ex Officio Give and Go Sport underwear, forgive me if I'm saying that wrong, but I will be wearing one of these every day and I will have a spare. And then as far as clothing, I have a pair of Nike lightweight breathable shorts, a Reebok synthetic fiber tank, and I have four pairs of socks. Whoa. So I have four pairs of socks. I have some two lightweight socks that I will be wearing. I have some smart wools and some from the ground up socks. If you haven't heard of them, check them out. They're an up and coming company. Um, right now they're producing socks. They have a really cool, the Cascade mountain range on them and also the uh, latitude and longitude coordinates. So I thought those were really cool. So check those out. They're an up and coming brand and they gave me these socks to try and see how they work on the trail. So I'll be taking those. Then I have some smart wool 
thermal camp socks and then a little bit of a mid-weight hiking sock for cold days. So I have four pairs of socks. I'm not sacrificing my feet and being cold. Also, I can wear a pair of socks as gloves since I won't be taking gloves and I have baby fingers. When it is cold, my fingers suffer. So I could always wear a pair of socks as mittens. So I'm taking just a simple Carhartt beanie for really cold nights to wear that. Then I also have my buff for cold days, um, keep my ears warm, keep my neck warm. As far as my base layers, they are the Smart Wool 250 Merino base layer leggings. And these are so warm and cozy. And the Smart Wool, I think it's like a quarter zip or a half zip 250 base layer as well. So those are going to be my base layers to keep me warm at night. Uh, and then as far as my puffy, this thing is the lightest thing I've ever, ever seen. So this is the Montebell x Light Anorak Down Puffy Coat. So this thing comes in at a whopping 6.1 ounces. This is a size small. So this is my puffy. It has a hood and it is kind of unique. It has a half zip, so it will be thrown on like a sweatshirt. Um, it has some pockets. But other than that, this is really the basics of the coat. It is so light, but I put it on and I do stuff outside and it is so warm. So I'm really excited to see how this also holds up on the trail. Speaking of Montbell, I couldn't be done with just one jacket. So I also started doing some research. So cue in the Montbell rain shell. I'm not exactly sure the exact name of this one. This is the rain shell. This is a pretty, I think it's like under seven ounces as well. The cool thing about this is as light as it is, it's really well made. There are less seams for it to leak in and it has pit zips. So I thought for all of that and the weight that it is, it's really how, I don't know how you can go wrong with this. So this is the Montbell rain shell that I will be taking. Then I have some REI essential rain pants on those really cold rainy days that I might not want my legs to be exposed. So I have those. And then the last little tidbit of my clothing is going to be my camp shoes, which are going to be the Crocs. When I first get up in the morning, I might not want to slide my feet into those frozen ultra runners. So I have some camp shoes and these are, I think are like the heaviest piece of my clothing coming out like, like nine or 10 out. And my clothing will also be going into a Z-Pax medium dry bag as well. So moving on to kitchen food, my favorite. Welcome MTV Cribs to my kitchen. This we'll talk about, this is the Z-Pax food bag. Um, it has a clip. And I also have some pair cords, so that way I can hang my bag. And then I have my water bottles, which are just my smart water bottles. This one has a hook, so I can hook it to my bag. And then also on my Gossamer Gear Mariposa 60, I have an elastic strap around that, around the shoulder belt, so that way it doesn't swing around giving me a black lip, or a fat lip, or a black eye. I have my fuel. I switched out my pot system for the Snow Peak uh, Mini, I'm not exactly sure, the Snow Peak Cook Set. And that comes with two different containers, a short and fat and a tall and skinny. <laughs> I don't know what any of them mean. Inside I have a Bic and the MSR Pocket Rocket 2. Then I also have the Sea to Summit Long Spork. I also made myself a pot cozy and this thing was really easy to make and it's very light but it should cut down on fuel consumption. Let's talk about water filtration. Anyway, I have the Sawyer Squeeze filter. And then I also have the Cenoc 2 liter water bladder. So lastly, we'll talk about my miscellaneous items and my luxury items. So I'll have all of my stuff that I want to keep pretty dry in my Z-Packs dry bag. Oh no, the Z-Packs dry bag. I have toothbrush, toothpaste, brush, which I think I'm going to cut the handle off to save some ounces because the ounces really matter. And I agree, they actually do. So I have a little tiny brush. I have some hand sanitizer, some Vaseline, got some TP, vitamin I. I have some KT tape to tape uh, any possible ailments, elbow, knee, ankle, whatever. Also, I've heard KT tape is really great to place on blisters. So I'll be taking this as well. Have some wilderness wipes to wipe the goods every day since I won't be showering, as you all know. Have my black diamond headlamp. I have a journal so I can log everything and hopefully relive the wonderful memories that is the AT. And then I have the AWOL guide, 2019 Nobo guide from AWOL. Aside from the AWOL guide, I do have the gut hook and I have the whole AT downloaded on there as well. I do have a feeling I'll probably be using both simultaneously. And for my heaviest item of my miscellaneous items, I have the Anchor Power Core 20,100. I think that's what it's called. 
And this is because, as you all know, I'll be vlogging for the trek and I need to ensure that I have power as I need it. So I'll be taking this. It is pretty heavy, it's like 13 ounces, but what are you gonna do? On the little strap is the Kingston Bolt iPhone flash drive. So this is how I will be saving images and videos from my phone and being able to get them off of my phone to free up storage. So this thing is 128 gigs and I cannot wait to use this thing. It's really, really cool, really nifty and I didn't know it existed until two weeks ago. Then I have some miscellaneous things. I have a repair kit for my thermo rest or any holes that I might acquire on any of my gear. I have a couple of miscellaneous wires to charge my anchor power core. I have some fire starting matches. I have some fingernail clippers and my friends, that is about it. So in just a couple of single digit days, I'm gonna be heading south. I'm so excited, I'm so nervous, I'm so a lot of things, but I'm so ready above anything else. I've been really, really, really working hard over the last few months at changing, redirecting, and reorganizing how I wanna go about this through hike to hopefully be successful or more successful in my endeavor. I can't wait to share with you guys all the ups and downs, literally, of the AT. The next time you see me, I'll be at Amakalola, State Park, probably shaking in my boots, or my shoes, shaking in my ultras, if you will. Once again, thank you so much to the Trek for letting me vlog for you guys, and I can't wait to see you next time when I'll be in Georgia. Alrighty, everybody, thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Okay, bye. Bye.